Hello, Maris. Hello, hello. Hello, Maris. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm uh, very fine. Excellent. You know, today is really hot. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. Yes, and it uh, hasn't rained. It has not rained. Good evening, Tony. Good evening, here, here. Good evening teacher. It's oh, um, yeah, but it's been really hot today. It's been really yeah. hot. Yeah, sure. I think that well. Uh, how are you, Tony? Very fine, teacher. Excellent. Very, very fine. And you? All right. I'm okay. I'm much better than yesterday, I think. Okay. okay. Um, yes. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Well, Raul is here. Also, Mayra is connecting. Okay. Good evening, Mayra. Good evening. Good evening, Raul. Good evening. Okay. Uh, how are you, Mayra? I'm fine. Yeah. Um, I'm going. Yeah. Ah. Okay. I'm just arriving home. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, how was your day? Good, so so, relaxing, tiring, busy. It's so stressing. <laughs> okay. Yes, okay. All right. Okay, all right. Well, we need to try to handle those things, right? But okay, let's focus on the class and let's learn English right now, okay? So for today's agenda, guys, we are going to start with the warm up. And as a warm up, we have different information, okay, for us to um, review, right? For us to learn. So we have the science of polar psychology. Then we are going to continue with unit two, which is marketing. And today, for the grammar part, we are going to learn enough plus nouns. I'm pretty sure that you remember that yesterday we covered enough and adjectives, right? So today is enough and nouns. We have teamwork, we have an activity, and we also have the speaking time, and we have listening quizzes, and we also have one quiz about adjectives, okay? So we are going to start, and let's see. We are going to start uh, with the science of polar psychology. What do you know about this, guys? In marketing, of course, right? What do you know about this? Why is this something important to take into account whenever you are building your brand in marketing? What do you know about this topic? Um, no? Uh, I remember some items of this term that and mold um colored color uh, mm -hmm. cold colors and and the affinity of of some some colors to uh how do you explain that i like something um, it depends of the of the brightness of the color it is something relative but i i don't remember what specifically is the, the that the psychology of the color works in in each item or mm -hmm. depend the item? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Tony. And you are right. Right. So, um, I mean, this is something that um, right now we are going to learn because we are studying marketing. Right. We are, we are studying these type of topics in English. So we are going to learn this today. All right. And probably you are going to reinforce what you already know about uh, this topic. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Mayra, can you please help us reading the first paragraph? And then, Maurice, um, from according to the last word, which is right. Thank you, Mayra. Okay. Color psychology has a huge impact on design choice in the marketplace. Whether is to brand your product most effectively, effectively or create an environment 
that will inspire service users. Color psychology is relevant to, ev to every aspect of design. Thank you. Okay, Maris. According to psychology, today 90% of judgment, maybe about both are based on color alone. Mm -hmm. Continue. Yes, please. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Color, color come in fear impression. Mm -hmm. If the first thing will notice, notice, notice what the notice, we yes. notice, mm -hmm. and the last thing we remember. So it's important to get your color choice right. Okay, thank you. All right, guys. First of all, let's focus on pronunciation, all right? So yes. we have this word, which is huge. Huge. Huge, yes? yes. Then we also have this one, which is choices. 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 Yeah, remember whenever we have plurals, choices, yes. yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, this one, effectively, yeah? Effectively, Bleed. effectively. Yeah, this one is going to be psychology. Psy, psychology. psychology. Yeah? This one is made. made. Yes, made. this one is based. Made. Yeah, this one is going to be first. 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 Yeah, no fears. First. Yeah, first. Yes. And this one, the same, choices. Choices because it's plural. Good evening, teacher. Uh, good evening, thank you. All right, so guys, uh, basically the color psychology, right? In this case, it is very important, why? It says that color counts in first impressions. Do you agree or disagree? Does color count in first impressions? I agree. I, I agree. agree. I agree. Yeah. It says that it's the first thing we notice and the last thing we remember. Is that true? It's very important. It's very important. That is true. Okay. So let's continue, right? Um, so, uh, Tony, help us reading this information. Okay. You can use color in your designs too. Influence brand choice. Draw attention to your products. Mm -hmm. Improve design visibility. Yes. Trigger a desired mold or atmosphere. Yes. Atmosphere or atmosphere. 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 Yes. Enhance perceived marketplace authority. Authority. Very good. So, guys, um, so this, this is very important. Um, if we want to influence brand choice, yeah. Draw attention to your products. Look at that. Draw in this case means. Um, provocar or atraer. No significa dibujar. Aquí es muy distinto el significado. The, the meaning is very different, right? So draw attention to your products. Improve design visibility. Trigger. Tony, tell me. Sorry. sorry. Uh, when do you know when a word change the, the meaning of the phrase because uh, in, in the involuntary interpretation, uh, I, um, I uh, translate drop like dibujar. Mm -hmm. when, when do you know that the, this, this sentence is changing by the, by the, by the noun? Mm -hmm. by the action mm, yes 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 um uh, okay very good question Tony. you know 
in this case um, is because the context and I mean the interpretation that you give if I say uh, dibujar atención I mean for me it could sound correct because I know that draw is dibujar but I know that also draw is provocar atraer so the knowledge you need to have it draw is dibujar provocar atraer yes so when you see the context and since you have the knowledge here that draw is a verb but it can also be a noun yes so you say okay so draw in this context means atraer o provocar no dibujar mm. but you need to learn that by heart okay yeah but for me it makes sense too dibujar, dibujar. atención but it um my attention is turned to the right to the to the keep in the presentation that you mm -hmm. are drawing circles and, and mm -hmm. sometimes when you when you are making a a commercial the the same, same actors or um different persons and interpretation is that um draw in the air uh, a little a little aspects or if you are describing a the Torre Eiffel, you draw in the air the, the figure of the Eiffel, and in for others type of um, process to to pay the attention of the of the customers. Or, mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I mean, yes, um, you can say that, right? You you can you can say dibujar, but the thing is that. Um, Maybe the context, maybe you can understand it as dibujar and it's okay, but other people maybe cannot understand it in that way, right? So we need to have this, um, like, you know, idea that draw can mean also eh, provocar or atraer, yeah? Because probably the other eh, people will know that what you mean is like provocar, atraer, right? So in this case, we need to have the idea, but here, I mean, the, the, the meaning of the word, right? We need to have it because if not, we can easily um, podemos mis, misunderstand yeah, uh -huh, the idea. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. All this about the context. It yes. Is more easy when you try to understand all the, the, the global context. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. It is easier. Easier. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Easy. All right. So in this case, we also have trigger. What is the meaning of trigger? Trigger is a word that I really like. Trigger. I mean, it's because of the word, right? Not because of the meaning. Trigger. What is trigger? It says trigger a desired mood or atmosphere. Desencadenar. Yeah. Desencadenar. You, for example, your actions trigger things. Uh -huh. Or it could be positive, but it depends on the context, right? Uh -huh. But it's something que desencadena algo, right? So trigger a desired mood or atmosphere. Enhance, give me a synonym for enhance in English. Improve. improve yes all right so enhance perceived market marketplace authority okay so enhance is the same is um a more advanced word to say improve yeah it's the same but it's more advanced you can enhance your speaking skills by speaking by participating you can enhance your English skills by uh, studying every day. We can enhance this project. We can improve this project. We can improve that, this, enhance, yeah? Okay, so then let's move and now let's talk about some of the colors that we have and the meaning, okay? So we have red, blue, yellow, green, orange, pink, purple, black, 
brown and many others, right? So in this case, um, help us reading red, blue, and yellow, please. Let me see. Uh, let me see the ones that are connected, okay? Um, Nelly, help us reading red, blue, and yellow, all of the adjectives, okay? Uh, then, Wendy, are you there? Good evening, teacher. Okay, Wendy, help us with green and orange. Okay. Green and orange. And please, um, Jose, with the color pink. Jonathan, with the color purple. Emerson, okay. with the color black. And I'm not sure if the other ones can participate, but Abigail, with the color brown. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now, red. Excitement, love, it's a strange energy and passion. Okay. Blue, trust, competence, peace, loyalty, intellect. Mm -hmm. Yellow, happiness, energy, creativity, good times, and share. Yes. Thank you. Green. Quality, naturally, healing, business, growth. Orange, confidence, subsets, sociability, bra bravery, e friendly. And friendly. Pink. Pink, sincerity, sophistication, sweet, compassion, playful. Thank you. Purple, ambition, spirituality, royalty, luxury, and faith. Thank you. Black, dramatic, class, formally, security, grief. Grief. Let me see if Sandra is, Abigail? I, I think that she's not there. Emerson, help us reading. Oh, okay. brown, brown. Uh, yes. Authority, mm -hmm. rudeness, outdoors, <laughs> longevity, yeah. and friendly, and friend. Thank you. Okay. All right, guys. So let's see, we have different colors, right? And the meaning, whenever you see this type of colors, that's what we perceive, yeah? Sometimes, okay? So we have red. I'm going to just reinforce probably the words that you don't know and the pronunciation. In this case, this one, remember that it is a strength. T-H, but a strength. Yeah, a strength, okay? Um, then we also have, well, blue, right? You see, trust, competence, peace, loyalty, intellect. Yeah, if you see most of the, um, um, sometimes things about education, they have the color blue because it's because of that. Red, you know, right? So some brands, they do use red. We are going to see some examples. Yellow, happiness, energy, creativity, good times, cheer, like happiness, right? Green, nature, nature, pronunciation, healing, yes, freshness, yes. Orange, from here, we have success, success. Then the other ones were well pronounced. In pink, compassion, okay, compassion compassion yeah we have black formality formality okay we also have uh, austerity yeah rudeness rudeness yeah como aspereza outdoors uh longevity yeah longevity and friendly yeah, so those are the words that probably were mispronounced. Then do you have any question about the meaning? 
If not, let me ask you, what is the meaning of healing? What is healing? Uh -huh. What is healing? Um, it's like recovering of from something. So okay. I don't know. Yes. Okay. When you feel better or you mm -hmm. after a sick. Uh, Ex yes. Okay. Perfect. What is the meaning, guys, of grief? I don't know. Grief. Um. Uh -huh. It's something bad. Okay? I mean, it's like inconvenience. Um, probably could be something like um something that hurts. Yeah. Grief es como pena, como pena, como dolor. Duelo, teacher. Which they one? all translate like duelo. Como duelo, duelo. también. Mm -hmm. Bravery? Oh, bravery? What is the meaning of bravery? Como valentía. Yeah, valentía. es e valentía. Uh -huh. Valentía. No, aquí no están hablando de eso. Así que okay. no estén inventando. Okay. All right, guys. Mute yourself. Okay. Uh, let's move. Okay. Let's move. And now let's move to some examples. All right. Let's move to some examples. So we have different companies right here. Okay. In which we can see this type of, um, you know, psychology. Yeah. Which is the color psychology. So we have optimism, clarity, and warmth. You see? Netflix, Lego. Yeah. And this type of uh, page, which is about uh, news, I think, right? I'm not sure. Yeah, then we also have blue, friendly, cheerful, confidence. Look at that, PayPal, Twitter, yeah, Samsung, okay. Excitement, yeah, youthful, yeah. There is missing one H right there, bold, yeah. You see? Most of the restaurants, right? But now we also have the ones that are purple, creative. Yeah. Taco Bell and some other companies. Yeah. We have trust, right? Fun. Peaceful growth. Health is color green. It's Spotify. Peaceful, right? Because you're relaxed by listening to music. Yeah. And we have also a Starbucks, right? Balance, neutral, and calm. Um, most of the probably cars, right? Right? Apple. Balance, neutral, right? Yeah. So we have this type of theory, right? Which is about the color. I think that it does influence. Right, it does influence in the way that you perceive things. I think that it is true. Okay, so then let's move and let's work on the book. Okay, so we are going to keep covering unit two, which is marketing, and we are going to move to this. All right, so guys, um, it says that. We need to label the examples of elements found in a product strategy using the questions from the box. As you can see right here, we have five questions. So what we need to do is that we need to collocate those five questions right here, okay? Which sentence answers each of these questions? So we have number one, we build quality kitchen hardware for residential kitchen customers, which is the question from those five that answers this. What do you think? Uh -huh. What ideas do you have? We need to infer. Tenemos que inferir. 
if, if we don't know, let's move to the second one, okay? So it says, our customers are young North American families who want kitchen hardware that can stand the wear and tear of young children. Who are you selling to? Excellent. Who are you selling to? So that one is going to be, let me go ahead and... Um, the first one is, what are you selling? Exactly. This one is what, okay? So what uh -huh, are you selling? Okay, that one is number one. Perfect. Number two, Nelly said, who are you selling to? And that is correct. Okay, who are you selling to? Perfect. What about number three? Mm -hmm. Maybe what value do you provide your customers? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can you please read uh, the answer? No. They are interested in materials that are safe for, for children and eco friendly. Eco friendly. Okay. Now say value. Value. Okay, value. And number, um, let me see, next one, number four. How will you distribute this? Distribute your product? Okay, yeah. How will you, well, I'm going to use that. Okay, and the last one. How will you price your product? Yes, all right. Excellent. And that is going to be? This exercise, yeah, the resolution for the exercise, okay? This was related to the topic that we covered yesterday. Do you remember which was the topic that we covered yesterday? Announce and two. Okay, but before that? Mm. The intensifiers? Intensifiers, okay. And before intensifiers? No, to the calories. Um, the four P's mm. and the marketing locations. Okay. And, um, um, we talk about relative to, to marketing. Yes. Too, and that, yeah. Um, false economy, sustainability, and and prospectation of perfect. Yeah. Okay, yes, very good. So we also discussed about the product strategy, okay? Excellent. Okay, guys, so today we are going to start with vocabulary as well, and let's match the words and expressions to their meanings, okay? So what do you think is advertising for all of the options that we have right there? What is advertising? Uh, a part to marketing that employs an openly sponsored message to promote to sell a product yes. or sell a product. Excellent. Okay. So that is going to be advertising. This one is number one. What is personal sales? Number three, sales interaction between the firm's representative and consumer and consumer on a one to one basis. Base. Excellent, thank you, Emerson. What about number three, sales promotion? Mm -hmm. 
The first one, promotion design. Design, promotion design to create okay. a short term in place and sell. Perfect. Thank you. What about a sponsor? What is a sponsor? Sponsor. Person organization that provides funds for an activity career of by another. Yes, that is a sponsor. And what is public relations? Yeah, Build, building a positive relationship between the organization, the media, and the public. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, guys, basically, those are the definitions, okay, that we have right there. Uh, pronunciation, remember, media, media and public, Pu public, okay? Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, guys. So now, let's move. Okay, let's move. And let's talk about the components of the place and promotion strategies, yeah? So we have this new topic. I mean, it is related to the one that we covered yesterday, okay? So the place, that means the distribution strategy, okay? What are the components of the place or distribution strategy? Help us read in the first three, Carlos Omar, and the last three, please, Emerson. Place distribution strategy. Yeah. Challenge selection. Choosing the appropriate distribution channel to reach the target market. Mm -hmm. Retailer selection. Selecting specific retailers or outlet to sell the product. Yes. Logistics and transportation. Yeah. Ma managing the movement and storage of goods of goods from production to distribution centers to the final dis dis destination. Thank you. Inventory man management, ensuring the right amount of the inventory is available to meet customers' demand. Mm -hmm. Market market coverage, determining the extent of market coverage, whether it's intensive, selective, or exclusive distribution. Yes. Warehousing, establishing facilities for storing and managing inventory. Thank you. All right. So, um, yes, guys, in this case, as you can see right here, we are talking about the place or distribution uh, center strategy, right? So, I mean, it involves many, many components, right? In this case, we can talk about the channel selection, the retailer selection, the logistics, right? And transportation, the inventory management, the market coverage, and the warehousing. All of them are components of the, uh, in this case, place distribution strategy. Yeah, it is very important to take all of this into account. Now, what about the promotion strategy? What do we need to take into account to develop the promotion strategy? Okay, let's see. Um, can you please help us read in the first three, Jose? And the last three, help us read in um, the last three. Let me see if we have Carla, yes. Carla, the last three. Okay. Advertising, using paid promotional messages through various channels such as television, radio, print, online platforms, etc. Mm -hmm. Public relations, managing the company's public image through media relations, press releases, events, etc. Sales promotion, offering incentive, incentives or discounts to encourage immediate purchase or brand loyalty. Very good. Okay. Personal selling. Uh, you, what do you say, please? Yes, utilizing. Utilizing direct interaction with customers to 
persuade them to buy the product or service. Yes. Digital marketing. Mm -hmm. Liver. L yes, leveraging. Leveraging online yeah. platforms and tools such such as social media, mm -hmm. email marketing, content marketing, etc. Yes. To promote promote the product or service. Yes. Uh, sponsorships and partnerships. Collaborating with other organizations or sponsoring events to uh, enhance brand. Enhance, enhance. Enhance brand visibility and reach a wider audience. Audience, thank you. What did I say was enhance? Uh, enhance. <laughs> yeah. Improve. Improve. Okay, excellent. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. So basically, those are the components of the promotion strategy. We need to take this into account, okay, to develop the um, this strategy when it comes to promotion. The advertising, the public relations, the sales promotion, yes, the personal selling, the digital marketing, which is, I think right now, one of the best tools that some companies um, have, right? So uh, sponsorships and partnerships that nowadays we can see this really often, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So now, um, Let's move to this, okay? Those were the questions, guys. Those were the answers for those questions that we have right here. So let's see. Let's start with the dialogue, yeah? So let's see. Uh, I need one volunteer to be Sofia, and the other one is going to be Arnold. Sofia. Thank you, Abigail. And Arnold? Me too. Thank you. Thank you, Jose. All right, go, uh, Abigail. I would like to sell training courses online. Mm -hmm. I have develop, developed, De developed, uh, developed a few, but I'm not sure if I could get a place like a shore to sell them. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the place is actually irrelevant. You have to take advantage of access. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by access? You could sell training courses online. People are always using their phones to surf the web and learn uh, new things. This is great because you can create awareness about your product from social network networking sites and create enough interest in the courses so that people will buy, buy them. Will buy them. Thank you. Okay, let me ask you, what does Sofia want to sell? Uh -huh. What? Thank you. Training courses. Yes. Number two, what is saying she sure about that? Uh -huh. What isn't she, uh, isn't she sure about, guys? I mean, what is something that she um, doesn't have clear? <coughs> uh -huh. She's not sure about what? About the place, right? Uh -huh. Yeah the place to store, to sell them, okay. And what are Arnold's recommendations? Hmm? He recommend her, uh, to her to sell training courses online. Mm -hmm. And why? And to create awareness about the product in different media, like the social medias. Okay. 
Okay. Um, because the people are always using their phones. Yes, to surf the web, right? And that is true, guys. Nowadays, that's why um, most of the teens, I mean, you can find different courses online, right? Is a new era. Yeah. Okay. Teacher, teacher, I have a question because yeah. um, um, in the in the two last paragraph of the conversation, uh, enough interest in the courses so that people will avoid them. Um, but I remember that yesterday when you use enough um the in the first place is the the adjective and then the enough mm -hmm. maybe this, this is not um, an application of the of the um, intensifier tool um, or or it's wrong the the um the order in this uh, phrase mm -hmm. you know very good question Okay, because we are going to talk about that, right? And yes, okay, so yesterday we covered additive plus enough, okay? So today we are going to cover enough plus noun. And as you can see right here, yes, we have enough and we have interest. In this case, interest is not an adjective. It is going to be a noun. So, how to use enough with nouns. Okay. Uh, help us reading this information, Tony. Okay. Um, how to use enough with nouns? Look at the example in the box, then complete the exercise below. Enough is a word that can qualify an adverb and or an and adjective. Huh? It can also be used before a noun. The company does not have enough information about the customers to understand their needs. Yes. We designed enough promotions to create a short-term increase in the sale. Yes. This strategy, this strategy may be used to distribute enough products. Mm -hmm. The store needs to sell enough items to continue in business mm -hmm. and there were not enough experts to perform the task yes thank you all right so in this case as you can see we have this type of structure right there and if you notice well this is not the one that i want to use but okay so enough information so we have first enough and then we have the noun, okay? The noun, yes? Enough information, enough promotions, enough quality. I, I remember that I, I said that yesterday, enough quality, because equality was a noun, was not the adjective in that sentence, right? So enough products, enough items, enough experts, enough beds, enough chairs, enough cell phones, enough um sellers enough whatever now todo lo que sea nombre todo lo que sea un noun puede ir después de enough okay and it indicates also that is something sufficient right it could be positive or it could be negative it depends on the context and let's take a look at the first exercise it says complete the sentences using the information in parentheses and enough Compare your answers with a classmate. In this case, we are going to uh, resolve this here. It says, the marketing department has sent, has sent past participle of the verb create. Has sent created enough interest we need to add enough okay they give us only the verb and the noun we need to add enough yeah and enough 
Yeah. Number two, our products offer enough features and benefits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about number three? What do you think? This strategy demand enough channel of distribution. Okay. The place strategy demand or demands? Demands. De demands. Yes. Demands enough channels of distribution. Number four. Retailers will stock enough goods and sell them. Correct. You see? Mm -hmm. In number five, mm -hmm. we lack mm -hmm. enough, enough information on the competition. Okay. Mm -hmm. So guys, um, in other words, whenever we want to use um, those two, okay, um, enough plus a noun, yeah, it indicates sufficiency, yeah, of something. In this case, we have, I have enough money to buy the ticket. That means that it is something, um, it is enough, right? It is sufficient. So do we have enough chairs for the meeting? She doesn't have enough experience for the job. So it could be something positive or something negative. So now let's compare because maybe you may have some, some doubts, right? So yesterday we covered adjective plus enough. Today we are covering enough plus noun. Look at that. And we have the examples, right? She is old enough to try. She is old enough. We can give more context or we can just say she is old enough or you can give more context. It is your choice, it is your idea. With enough plus noun, we can say, I have enough money, or I have enough. It depends on your idea. And it depends on the context, on the idea that you would like to express. Because if you want to say, Tenemos suficiente comida para todos los invitados. ¿Cómo lo diría en inglés? Tenemos la suficiente comida para todos los invitados. We have, we have enough, enough food. food for the guests, right? Uh -huh. Porque la idea misma le da a usted a entender que en ese caso, food no es un adjetivo. Entonces usted hace ya con todo lo que usted sabe, sus pensamientos ordenan la idea. Por eso no decimos food enough, ¿verdad? Porque usted sabe que es enough food, porque food es un noun. Uh -huh. Do you have questions, doubts, any preguntas, dudas? Por ejemplo, eh, por ejemplo, yeah. say, the food delicious. ¿Cómo podemos usar cuando usan lo, lo, el adjetivo y el nombre? ¿O no se puede usar eso? Como la um, delicious food. Sí. Yeah. Yeah. Así, delicious yeah. food. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, la ubicación del... Porque ahí está el adjetivo y el nombre. 
¿o no? Ah, yes. ¿Sí? Entonces, este... primero va el adjetivo. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. okay. Delicious food. Delicious. Comida deliciosa. Delicious food. Entonces sería enough delicious food. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Correct. Very good. Okay. So now, what about number two? Okay, we have some exercises. Number one is we have in parentheses, it could be an adjective or it could be a noun. You are going to identify. Okay. Number one, it says, Are you all enough to get a driver's license? Because all is an adjective. What about number two? My old car is too mm -hmm. slow. It isn't? It isn't fast enough. It isn't fast enough. Because no. fast is an adjective. Okay. Yes, there are... Enough X. Enough X. Enough X. Exactly. Because X noun. With a noun. Correct. What about warm? Is it warm enough? Is it warm enough to go to the beach today? Mm -hmm. What about where can I find enough people? Enough people for the game. Because people, now, our teacher never gives us enough tests. Enough tests. Because tests, tests are, uh, I mean, the word is a noun. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have questions? Do you have doubts? No? Okay, so if you don't have doubts, um, I'll give you one minute to think about one sentence using adjective plus enough and one using enough plus noun, and I'm going to ask you, okay? I'll give you one minute, yeah? Yes, to think about one and one. Okay, so let's see. Um, Carlos Omar, can you give us your sentences? My sentences. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Are you... Are you young enough to to get a, a career? Okay. And the other one? Um, I have, uh, I have, and no, and no uh, activities. Okay. Yes. Thank uh, you. And no activity in my in my job. 
Yes, very good. Eh, Carla Sofía. Fabria, mm. uh, do you have do you have enough money? Okay, you have enough money, yes. Now with adjective. Uh, <coughs> Maybe he he's he's ah uh, he's younger now. Okay. Yes. Very good. Yes. Um. Thank you, and Jonathan. Okay. Okay, Miss. My first example is my bike is a slow enough than your bike, mm -hmm. and the second, I get enough candy in the party. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. Um, uh, the first sentence, Jonathan. In this case, because of the idea, because of the idea, it might be um, we can improve it. Okay, we can improve it because it says my bike is slow enough than your bike. It's like saying, mi bicicleta es lo suficientemente lenta que la tuya. Por lo tanto, mi bicicleta es más lenta que la tuya. ¿Verdad? So, my bike is a slower than yours, maybe. I mean, the, the structure will be correct, but the idea mm, mm, may need some adjustment, okay? The idea itself, but the grammar part is correct for uh, slow enough, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Somebody else, guys, that want to participate? Me, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Maris and then Mayra, I think okay. that's it. Yeah. Okay. The fair, I don't have enough weather left. I don't, yes, correct. This house is a big enough for all of us. Perfect. Yes, Mons. Thank you. Mayra? Okay. My son don't age enough to watch the pool movie. The pool movie. M my son? My son don't age enough. Como le da suficiente or... All enough to watch the the pool movie. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my son will first does it because I think that you said you your hijo, right? So it is doesn't. Okay. Uh -huh. My son doesn't. Okay. Can you please type it in? La puede mandar al chat la primera. And give me the second one. Mm. Okay. To watch that full movie. My son. Doesn't have. Doesn't have. Doesn't have, uh -huh. Oh, but in that case, you could say, my son doesn't have the enough age to watch Deadpool movie. My son mm -hmm. doesn't have the enough age to watch that mm -hmm. movie. Okay. Uh -huh. That one is going to be one way. And if not, we can say, my son is not old enough. But 
you have used the the noun h so we can say my son doesn't have um the enough h to watch that full movie okay yes Mayra. and the other one um el salvador doesn't doesn't have money enough to invest in public ter public transportation okay um that one el salvador doesn't have enough money because that one is going to be a noun. Mm -hmm. Money is a noun. So we need to follow this structure. The same as the previous one. So you did both with nouns. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Porque H es un nombre, no es un adjetivo. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Podemos okay. decir, uh -huh, lo suficientemente grande, se puede decir con el adjetivo all. Right? My son is not all enough to watch that movie, that would be correct. My son doesn't have the enough age to watch that movie, también sería correct. Pero en uno utilizamos el adjetivo y en la otra utilizamos el noun. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. um, Nelly, can you please give us your sentences? And then Emerson. Um, honestly, <laughs> I'm trying to uh, understand that because it's done, uh, the topic is unclear for me. It's and I try to resolve, um, answer uh, the platform exercise about this topic. And I have problem with two. So mm -hmm. first, and I I can't I can solve them, mm -hmm. and I I don't know if I don't or don't understand really well the topic. Okay, yes. um. So what are your questions? Um, in the in the last um print or picture. Um, this. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, we have, um, you explain us uh, uh, the marketing department hasn't created inter enough interest and created um, yes. in, in past participle, I, I think. Yes. And but um i don't know um i have problem with our products and offer feature and benefits and the other is the place is strategic demand uh, of demand channel of distribution number two and number three Okay, number two and number three. Yes, and um, I think that mm -hmm. if our product offered enough features and benefits. Mm -hmm. And the third, the place strategy. Uh, I, I don't know if it's right, but the place strategy demanded a demand uh, a note channel of distribution. I, I don't know if, if okay. Yes. But uh, okay, so it's um las califica mal entonces. <laughs> but let me see. Let me see what okay, let me see. I'm going to I'm going to go on the platform. Okay. Um I think that is going to be exercise. It's number, um, it's number 2.11. And two, okay. Let me see, just let me take a look. Okay. 
Okay, Nelly. Let me let me see. Let me let me ask you something. Okay, then number two and and number one and number two. Oh. But in the in the picture of the presentation is number two and number three. In the platform is number one and number yeah. two. Got it. Got it. Yes, number two on the platform, it is incorrect. Type on the platform, use this, enter this on the platform, use that. Okay. And on the other one that you mentioned, let me see, and the other one was, yeah. And on the, on the other one, enter this. And the other one, um, it's right the way the, that I didn't. It's correct, yes. It is correct, okay. Yes, number three, four, and five are correct. Three, four, and five. One and two here in in uh, uh, number two now it's correct and uh, number one yes two yes yeah, so guys okay thank you now then on the platform this topic guys on number exercise number let me see number um two point eleven you need to type in yes tiene que eh, ingresar datos you need to type in so, um, number two, no le voy a agregar enough, yes, porque la plataforma solo dice que la, um, the answer, the correct answer is offer great features and benefits. Si quiere anótelo o me pregunta cuando ya esté en ese ejercicio en, ahí en el grupo y lo voy a recordar, ok, porque la plataforma lo toma como malo si le pone el enough porque no está agregado enough en la plataforma. Ok, ahora, eh, con la otra, la número tres, recuerde que esta, lo de, de Place Strategy, recuerde que va a llevar la S porque estamos hablando de tercera persona. Ok. Uh -huh. Bye. Thank you. Any other? Ok, so I think that, that's it. that was it. Nelly, or do you have any other question? Yes, why uh, we add great uh, in place that a note? Offer great. Where? Offer, offer great, featured, and number two. Our why, product. Yes. Why? Um. Why we have we we have great great, um, uh, in place that enough. Where? Offer great features. Okay. Ah, on the platform. Yes, because on the platform they enter it like that. Yes, guys. I mean, on the platform, I'm not sure, right? Because that is something that we do not do as teachers. Yeah. So in this case, um, I think that they have entered that. Maybe they were thinking it is correct. It is correct. Okay. So saying um, our products offer great features and benefits is correct. However, the topic, as you can see right here, is enough. So maybe at the time that they were creating the, the exercises, they were thinking about different options that they didn't include on the book, yeah? So that happens whenever maybe, you know, they work mm, probably separately. So in this case, it is correct, but we don't have that information on the book right now. Right, but it is correct. We can say great as well instead of enough. But in this case, great, it is a different type of um, intensifier. Yes. And it's, it doesn't indicate sufficiency. Yeah, it indicates that something is excellent, that something is good. Right. It is so different uh, from enough. 
but it is correct. It is correct. But if it is correct, if we have our products um, offered enough feature and benefit. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. correct. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Any other doubt that you may have? Yeah. Okay, guys, let's move, okay? So in this case, we are going to take the listening quizzes. Yeah, we are going to take the two listening quizzes that we have for today. But first, I'm going to take the attendance, okay? Because I need to take the attendance right now. Let me see. And say present once you hear your name. Uh, give me one second, please. Okay, Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Omar Linares. Present. Thank you. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Eduardo Franco. Okay. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, miss. Thank you. Fátima Gabriela Loza Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Jonathan Jose González Domínguez. Present miss. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elías Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Present. Thank you. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez Celaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Miguel Corvera Enríquez. Luis Miguel. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Yeah. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Yes. Present. Thank you. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade García. Present. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Jordán Miranda. Yes. Okay. Yes, thank you. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Present. And Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you, Wendy. Okay. Very good, guys. So I'm going to share the links, okay, for the listening uh, quizzes. Let me go ahead and get those for you. So the first one, it is the following. You have it on the chat and the passcode is going to be listening, okay? Let me know once you are ready so I can play the recording. Okay, thank you. Okay. I'm going to play this audio only two times, okay? This time only twice. Um, so here we go. Okay. Hi, how can we help you today? Yeah, I'd like to get my hair trimmed a little. Uh, nothing fancy, just a basic trim. Well, can we interest you in today's special? Uh, nah, nah. Well, we'll shampoo, cut, style your hair for one unbelievable low price of $9.99. Plus, we'll give you a clean shave and a back massage to help you relax. Well, I, I don't know. I don't have much time, in. Best service in town. Well, okay, I'll have the complete service today. But as I said before, I just want to get my hair trimmed. A little off the top and the sides. That's all. I mean, that's all. No problem. Relax. You're in good hands. Okay, here we go. Now, how does this thing work? Huh? Wait. You know what you're doing, right? Relax, sir. Relax. I've been doing this for ten... <laughs> ten what? Sit back and relax. So what do you do for a living? I'm a lawyer specializing in workplace accidents, and I'm in town for a very important job interview, and... Oops. What do you mean, oops? Hey, can I see a mirror? Nothing to worry about, sir. Relax. 
relax. I'm just making some adjustments to the hair trimmer. There we are. Okay. Ow! <laughs> that hurt. That really hurt. What are you doing anyway? Nothing to worry about, sir. Relax. That's what you just said a minute ago, and look at all my hair on the floor. And how much are you really cutting off? And where's the mirror? Oh, and time for the shampoo. Just lean back and we'll wash your hair away. You mean what's left of it? Relax. Your favorite word. Relax. Hey, hey, ah, uh, hey, and you got shampoo in my eyes. I, I can't see. Where's the towel? Relax, sir. Relax. I'm almost finished. Yeah, just wait till I get finished with you. Okay, okay. Now let's dry your hair. Uh, put a little styling gel in it, and now style it with a blow dryer and brush. Voila. Hey, hey, what happened to my hair? You butchered it. And what's left of my hair turned purple. What kind of prank are you trying to pull here anyway? And are you even a licensed beautician? Well, sir, we offer money-back guarantee of all our work, so if you're not completely satisfied... Satisfied? I'm anything but satisfied. I want to talk to the manager now. I'm sorry, but he's on vacation, and he left me in charge. So if you... How in the world am I supposed to go to my job interview looking like this? Forget it. Forget it. Is there any place in this town that can give a decent haircut and fix this damage? Well, my brother works next door, and he offers a complete package for... I, I know, I know, nine ninety nine. I had it. Forget I even asked. Okay, the last time. Hi, how can we help you today? Yeah, I'd like to get my hair trimmed a little. Uh, nothing fancy, just a basic trim. Well, can we interest you in today's special? Uh, nah, nah. Well, we'll shampoo, cut, style your hair for one unbelievable low price of nine ninety nine. Plus, we'll give you a clean shave and a back massage to help you relax. Well, I, I don't know. I don't have much time in. Best service in town. Well, okay, I'll have the complete service today. But as I said before, I just want to get my hair trimmed. A little off the top and the sides. That's all. I mean, that's all. No problem. Relax. You're in good hands. Okay, here we go. Now, how does this thing work? Huh? Wait. You know what you're doing, right? Relax, sir. Relax. I've been doing this for ten... <laughs> ten what? Sit back and relax. So what do you do for a living? I'm a lawyer specializing in workplace accidents, and I'm in town for a very important job interview, and... Oops. What do you mean, oops? Hey, can I see a mirror? Nothing to worry about, sir. Relax. I'm just making some adjustments to the hair trimmer. There we are. Okay. Ow! <laughs> that hurt. That really hurt. What are you doing anyway? Nothing to worry about, sir. Relax. That's what you just said a minute ago, and look at all my hair on the floor. And how much are you really cutting off? And where's the mirror? Oh, and time for the shampoo. Just lean back and we'll wash your hair away. You mean what's left of it? Relax. Your favorite word? Relax. Hey, hey, uh, hey, and you got shampoo in my eyes. I, I can't see. Where's the towel? Relax, sir. Relax. I'm almost finished. Yeah, just wait till I get finished with you. Okay, okay. Now let's dry your hair. Uh, put a little styling gel in it, and now style it with a blow dryer and brush. Voila! Hey, hey, what happened to my hair? You butchered it, and what's left of my hair turned purple. What kind of prank are you trying to pull here anyway? And are you even a licensed beautician? Well, sir, we offer money-back guarantee of all our work, so if you're not completely satisfied... Satisfied? I'm anything but satisfied. I want to talk to the manager now. I'm sorry, but he's on vacation, and he left me in charge. So if you... How in the world am I supposed to go to my job interview looking like this? Forget it. Forget it. Is there any place in this town that can give a decent haircut and fix this damage? Well, my brother works next door, and he offers a complete package for... I, I know, I know, nine ninety nine. I had it. Forget I even asked. Okay. So let me take a look at your answers, okay? Very good. I can see that some of you got 100, okay? Mm, okay. Mm. 
Okay. Let's take the second one. Okay. There you go. And the passcode is listening. Capital letters. Okay. Here we go with the second one, guys. I'm going to play this um, three times, but listen carefully, okay? Hi, uh, are you Sarah? No, I'm not. I'm her older sister. Well, I'm here to talk I'm, to... I know why you're here. Good. Uh, is Sarah here? Um... First, I have a couple questions, and you better answer them. What is your name? Well, um, my name? Uh, I'm Nick. Uh, I thought so. Where are you from? Um, I'm from Brownsville. Why are you asking okay, me? Okay, how old are you? What? How old are you? Does that matter? Of course it matters. I wouldn't be asking otherwise. Really? Really, yeah. Sarah's only 19. Oh, okay, I'm 22. Now, is Sarah here? Where did you first meet Sarah, and why do you like her so much? Like her? What do you mean? I've only met her once in... Don't lie to me, Nick. Are you sure you have the right guy? L are you sure? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure. L listen, I'm leaving. I don't need the money that much. What? Money? Wait, what do you mean money? Listen, I'm a teaching assistant at the university, and I met Sarah in the Spanish class last week. She asked me if I could teacher you know help her with her class so you're not nick roberts that guy that drives that crazy motorcycle no the one with the large tattoo of a snake across his back no what you've got the wrong guy i'm leaving this whole thing is crazy okay the second time hi uh are you sarah no i'm not I'm her older sister. Well, I'm here to talk I'm, to... I know why you're here. Good. Uh, is Sarah here? Um, first, I have a couple questions, and you better answer them. What is your name? Well, um, my name? Uh, I'm Nick. Uh, I thought so. Where are you from? Um, I'm from Brownsville. Why are you asking okay, me? Okay, how old are you? What? How old are you? Does that matter? Of course it matters. I wouldn't be asking otherwise. Really? Really, yeah. Sarah's only 19. Oh, okay, I'm 22. Now, is Sarah here? Where did you first meet Sarah, and why do you like her so much? Like her? What do you mean? I've only met her once in... Don't lie to me, Nick. Are you sure you have the right guy? L are you sure? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure. L listen, I'm leaving. I don't need the money that much. What? Money? Wait, what do you mean money? Listen, I'm a teaching assistant at the university, and I met Sarah in the Spanish class last week. She asked me if I could teach her, you know, help her with her class. So you're not Nick Roberts, that guy that drives that crazy motorcycle? No! The one with the large tattoo of a snake across his back? No, what? You've got the wrong guy. I'm leaving. This whole thing is crazy. Okay, so the last time. Hi, uh, are you Sarah? No, I'm not. I'm her older sister. Well, I'm here to talk I'm, to... I know why you're here. Good. Uh, is Sarah here? Um, first... I have a couple questions, and you better answer them. What is your name? Well, um, my name? Uh, I'm Nick. Uh, I thought so. Where are you from? Um, I'm from Brownsville. Why are you asking okay, me? Okay, how old are you? What? How old are you? Does that matter? Of course it matters. I wouldn't be asking otherwise. Really? Really, yeah. Sarah's only 19. Oh, okay, I'm 22. Now, is Sarah here? Where did you first meet Sarah, and why do you like her so much? Like her? 
What do you mean? I've only met her once in... Don't lie to me, Nick. Are you sure you have the right guy? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Listen, I'm leaving. I don't need the money that much. What? Money? Wait, what do you mean money? Listen, I'm a teaching assistant at the university, and I met Sarah in the Spanish class last week. She asked me if I could teach her, you know, help her with her class. So you're not Nick Roberts, that guy that drives that crazy motorcycle? No! The one with the large tattoo of a snake across his back? No, what? You've got the wrong guy. I'm leaving. This whole thing is crazy. Okay, guys. So let me see. Okay. I think that this one, this was easier than the previous one. Okay. So now let's move and what we are going to relax. do is... Relax. Ah, yes, right. Relax, relax. Okay, guys, we are going to move and we are going to talk mm. about um, different questions. We are going to go directly to the speaking time, okay? So right now we are not going to develop the activity. I need to practice speaking, okay? So we have different questions uh, related to marketing, yeah? So I need to practice with those questions that we have in the speaking time. Yeah, you have many questions right there, okay? So you need to put into practice what we have learned during this week, the vocabulary and everything, okay? Um, if you cannot join the room, it's okay, but if you are able to practice, let's practice, okay? Y, y ahí lo puse en duda la otra señora. ¿Funcionará o no funciona? ¿Sabe qué hacer su trabajo? Eh, sorry. Ok. Teacher, uh, can you able to share my screen, please? Yes, of course. Let me see. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Ok. Okay, for this speaking time, relax and read the one. <laughs> Come on, son. <laughs> es que me mato de la risa. Yes. <laughs> Al inicio pensé que le había cortado la, le la oreja. Cut the hair. No, pero era cut the hair. Yes. Y sí, pues le cortó la oreja. Ah, oh, sí. No, pero le cortó nada más el pelo mal. Y yes. Okay. <laughs> What okay. marketing tactics do? you think are very successful. Mm -hmm. Tactics of marketing. Talking about the terms that uh, we saw today and yesterday, or um, the third thing that uh, we have in mind uh, yes. about the one brand. Yeah, the, the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay, okay. Let me see. Uh, George, are you here or you cannot participate? So I can take Maurice. <clears throat> I think that George is not here, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to move you, Maurice, okay? Okay. Is Carlos Omar here? 
now. Yes, I'm here. Okay, so okay, um, so I can you practice with Atilio? Or or can I take Atilio? Me lo puedo llevar. Me puedo llevar Atilio. Hello, hello. Hey, yes, yes, I'm here. Um, okay, so I'm going to move, I'm going to move you, okay. Atilio, yes, I'm going to move you. Um, I'm going to send you with team three and Carlos Omar with team two. Promotion. 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 The tactics. Yeah. Uh, the marketing tactics. Yeah. Promotion. Promotion. Yeah. But promotion by social network. Yeah. Uh, okay, and the second, how has the internet changed marketing? Uh, some part of my partner said, I think the internet changed a lot of the marketing because uh, nowadays, if you want to sell something, only you uh, <coughs> call on Facebook, on Instagram, and in the marketplace, you know? Yeah. That's considered the internet changed a lot because uh, in the past, maybe you look for in the, I don't remember, how do you say, periodical? Newspaper. newspaper. In the newspaper, yes. Thank you. Uh, in the past, you look in the newspaper mm -hmm. on a specific I guess a promotion or something like this like that post that you sell something. But nowadays you only post on Facebook and also uh, we can you can find different apps. For example, OLX where you sell a lot of things. Inter inter internet uh, change the marketing because uh, uh, many people can see more of that person. Yeah, ha cambiado el internet porque muchas personas venlo. Yes, uh, my opinion. So, I I think I am agree with you, and also is cheaper to do publicity in social networks than. Yeah. Uh -huh on newspaper or TV or radio. And it is yeah. easier to uh, take the uh, information to a lot of people. Uh, and also you can, you can get a lot of views, right? Yes. Um, okay, guys, instead of saying to do publicity, okay, vamos a decir to advertise. To advertise, okay. To advertise, okay. And instead of saying I am agree, vamos a decir I agree. I oh. agree, okay. Oh. Yes, okay, I agree. And advertise. Advertise means Person. hacer publicidad. To advertise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Advertise. To advertise. Okay, continue, please. For companies, is easier. To advertise. For companies, is easier uh, to advertise. Yeah. Okay. Is there too much hype in marketing? Mm -hmm. That means exaggeration, guys, in marketing yeah. campaigns. Como, no, como crear eh, expectativa. Mm. 
it's like uh you know um, yes yes like create uh, maybe many expectations right or to create exaggeration about your your product right maybe the the advertisement is not good enough it exaggerates right um, an example could be uh taking iphone when apple's launch uh the first publicity of iphone 14 i think uh -huh. a lot of people hype because they were waiting for the launch uh-huh correct uh, like many many other side uh, is uh, crear una necesidad teacher ¿cómo? to create a necessity uh -huh. uh, the, the other side uh, internet is uh -huh. is very much internet well I don't know. I don't know. I, I think that, um, well, I don't have an example right, right now to, to mention about a company that probably hypes, right, about their advertising. But maybe, yeah, we have some, but I don't know. Okay. So I think that nowadays, no, there is not. But I don't know what you think. Right. It's like saying, si hay mucha exageración en el mercadeo ahora de todos los productos que vemos en línea, los anuncios, right? And I, I think um, an example could be PlayStation. Mm -hmm. People get some uh, crazy when they anuncian. They release? They released a, a new console. Mm -hmm. Or whenever they advertise. Uh-huh. También advertise puede decir como anunciar también. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Yes. It could be. Okay. It could be. Okay. Continue, guys. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Um. And the other. Nelly is involved to a new entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Options. It's a uh, marketing uh, marketing the, uh, tactic. A, 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 a tactic of marketing that is very, very hard. Okay. Neon, okay. Neon, Other, uh, <laughs> SD. Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. okay. Other good strategy is when she prefers the, the tactics of um gift cards on uh, loyalty cards. Yeah. Yes, and in give her give samples. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. samples, give samples, discounts, yeah. and um, combos package. Okay. Yes, okay. and when you can, um, I don't know if if you if you heard sometimes about leal coins, leal coins, loyalty or oh. leal, ah, leal coins. Leal. Okay. Leal. Yes. yes. Leal, leal. Ah, okay. Yes, they're very good too. I use uh, I use leal coins in um ah, leal. in ah, the gas ah, station. Yes. Ah. Leal yeah. have a very a, a very uh, huge uh, a huge um catalog of of, of company that um make rewards uh with the loyalty card. Loyalty called they are. Loyalty yes. they are. They have, uh, mm -hmm. they have co branding with uh, Texaco, Texaco. Or I think. And uh, oh, Momoso. Oh, 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 Different restaurants in Santa Ana and Art yes. um, Oh, Simmer Down. Yes, um, oh, simmer down. Yes, yes. Simmer down and, and different. They, they have a, a huge um catalog of this. Leal. Yeah. Leal. <laughs> Leal. Leal. Card. I don't remember. No, it's Leal. Club Leal Club. app. 
Yes. No. Yes, bien là. Ah. Non. This one. Yes. Um, for me, yes, have a, a good catalog. Yul Yao Yao, Subway Dong Li. They have a cashback with Banco Industrial, uh, with Booking. Oh, okay, Booking Co. Uh, Dash. Okay, this is, this is a good May, option. Maybe it's affiliate market, marketing. Mm -hmm, exactly. Um, yes, if you have your store, you can um, uh, go pet to uh, have a association with them. Yeah. Um, for me, I prefer um, and no sé cómo se dice en chapado, pero uh, I prefer en chapado a la antigua. I prefer the uh, the marketing strategies that use um, the TV uh, uh, proposal promos. Uh, like I remember uh, um, an ad that made me feel that I need this product, but in in my case at this time I don't I don't have the money to to buy it. But do you remember when the Toyota um, uh, the high high looks Pickup has uh, drive it by a monkey, and say you don't need to drive. You need you need to. No necesitas le manejar. Necesitas. You need to maltratar. I don't remember how you say maltratar. No lo manejes. Maltrate lo era el el el. You don't drive it. Uh, push it or or punk it. Algo así tendría que haber sido. Eh, no manejes. No lo manejes. Maltrátalo. Y salía un gorila o un mono manejando el carro. The, this type of, uh, of emotion that um, involved the, 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 the ad, the, the, the video promo is, is very good. That uh, at today, I remember I have, I, I was a, a child when, when I saw this, this video, maybe 12 or 15 years, but the name of Toyota Hilux is Remember uh, at this time, it's very, very good. And they um, capture all my attention and uh, be recorded in my mind uh, until today. Do you prefer the creative creative marketing content? Yes, exactly. I think it depends on the product. The product, yes, really, really, uh, because some products that don't don't need this type of, of um, ads, but it is a it's a different way to capture the attention of the mm -hmm. customers. Uh, in the in the group uh, is to Emerson, Wendy, Atilio. Uh, how do you think about that this topic? Tony, <laughs> pero decía no mal no manejelo mal. No, no lo manejes mal, trátalo, decir. No, por eso, no lo manejes mal, trátalo. Ah, mal, trátalo. <risa> no, 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 yes, Tony, no lo manejes mal, trátelo. Well, <risa> maybe the, the play of the word, but um, let me see if YouTube have this ad. Let me see, let me see. Okay, but um, big market campaign that I was I saw, I saw in my life the Avengers Avenger. campaign. Okay. okay, the last one. What is the difference between marketing and advertising? Hmm. Okay, I don't know if, if I'm okay, but in my opinion, 
marketing could be in general. For example, if you want to sell something, if you want to to show a promotion, could be uh, marketing. But if you if it's for business or for a specific uh, marketing, I consider advertising. But I don't know if it's okay. Um, for me, marketing is is complete. Uh, in publicity, uh, advertising is in component the marketing for me. Uh, la publicidad es complemento del marketing. The advertising could be only for business. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm, I don't know if I am a K but I think they are synonym. Maybe the same thing with another name. <clears throat> no, I don't know. Mm, well, in this case, advertising is the result of marketing. Because as you mentioned, some of you mentioned this, that marketing involves um, different processes, right? So, and at the end, Advertising is one of the processes for marketing, but they are related. I mean, yeah, they are related. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Let's... Okay. Do you think that social media marketing is the future? I think it is because it's cheaper, it's easier, and you can go, you can get every people in the world uh, as fast. Very, very fast. Mm -hmm. Yes, in, in my opinion, uh, totally. uh, because uh, totally the marketing, the social media marketing is the future. For example, sometimes uh, or maybe I'm talking with my friends about oh I want to buy a a watch for example, and enter in in Instagram or entering in Facebook on Facebook, mm -hmm. and I wa and I watch the the publicity about watch, or I think I consider that my cell phone. Uh, <laughs> uh real my mind uh, i don't know what's happening or my cell phone hear me but i consider yes the marketing uh, the social media marketing is the future for me i i think the social media marketing is the future is the future mm -hmm. I um uh, just to to mention this, uh, Jonathan, what you are mentioning that whenever you probably, um, I mean, you want a watch, then you suddenly see advertising about watches, yes, right? A lot of things. Mm -hmm. But you know, um, that happens because there might be at some place where you have typed the word watch. I mean, I mean previous to go on Facebook, right? You have uh, searched this type of content before, or maybe you have uh, spoken to somebody about that. And the thing is that all of our uh, data, guys, all of the things that you actually use, right? It is uh, on the cloud. And that's why we need to be very careful with what, uh, with what we send through messages. Teacher, yeah. but sometimes uh, I'm talking with my with my friend or with my coworker in the in the break, and after that I watch uh, mm -hmm. things on on Instagram, mm -hmm. and I found uh, some message. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
it's okay. rarity, right? <laughs> yes, it's it's weird, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well. Okay. Yeah, that happens a lot. A lot. Okay. Okay, the second. Uh, will marketing throughout social media be effective for your company? Uh, yes. For me, yes. <coughs> Why? Uh, in my opinion, as my my partner said before, uh, is very cheap mm -hmm. because sometimes if you have just imagine if you have your business, if you want to advertise in something, you have to pay another company to advertise in your product. But if you have your your fan page or your own Facebook or Instagram. You only post and maybe uh, pay around twenty dollar for Facebook, I guess, and and it's very effective the 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 advertising for your company and it's very cheaper. I agree. Uh, I agree on that. It is cheaper than other probably ways of advertising right yeah besides the 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 price it could be the as fast as you can go to many people uh, a friend of mine uh, advertise uh some food and in a pair of minutes five i think she got um like two million people my God! Yeah, so it was very, very, very fast. Uh, you just have to know how to get to a lot of people, but mm -hmm. uh, even though it wasn't two millions, if you reach um a hundred of person people, it is a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, five minutes. Yeah, that was a lot. I think that maybe. Uh, she used some techniques um, and that gives her, right? At the moment that, that gave her the opportunity to cover. The way that, that she did it was uh, putting that publicity in uh, groups. In a group are a lot of people. <laughs> and she, she put that... Um, Hashtags, no. Billboard. Ah, uh, really? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so that's easy. And it, it is very fast and cheaper. Okay, so she yes. Ju she just spent um, like 20 minutes mm -hmm. to get to a lot of that people. And and her business is about food. Yes, <laughs> the problem with that was that people from other countries <laughs> asked, and okay. she, she can't get that. Yeah, she couldn't get to them. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Uh, okay. Got it. But food is something that goes fast, right? Yeah. Okay. Continue, guys. Let me see. And part of the of the of the drama and and I don't like it that use um ads when you are watching different series. And in this case, I prefer that Amazon Prime or Amazon yeah, Prime Video or Netflix or Disney that you only look that you want and you don't need to watch another type of uh, advertising uh, do in this platform respect you that don't put in in the middle uh, advertising this it is uh, and disgusting for me um but uh, the people that don't have uh, money to to have to buy a um a membership of this type of of, of products preferred um watch 
all the content with the ads in the middle. No, what name? Eh, but uh, when the day cuento discount coupon coupon coupon. Yeah, I agree. Do you get discount coupons? Yeah, in the email. I never get yeah. discount coupons. <laughs> okay. Very good. <laughs> if you refer to another person, you receive a ten dollar miss or five dollar. Yeah. Really? Yes. Yeah. And also, if you 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 look between eleven and twelve, you get a lot of discounts in different store too. And that is good to know. I didn't know about that. <laughs> I know because I use a lot of Facebook. Yeah. I know one of my friends actually told me about that app, but he didn't uh -huh. to me that. Yes, I recommend it. Okay. Sometimes or some days is very cheap, but sometimes yes, it's a little expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I think that, um, well, Mayra, were you going to say something? Yeah, in my case, uh, the email, the email address is very annoying for, <laughs> annoying because it's really intensive. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, Prisma Moda and Simon send a lot of emails of the com in and actually it's not true and uh, the information they announce mm -hmm. i think that that is the the worst part that the information is not true right yeah mm -hmm. okay all right Okay, guys, let's go back, okay, to the main room because it's almost time. Okay. Yes. Okay, so let me ask you, um, Jonathan, what do you think about number one? Are people in our country happy to buy products from abroad? Have you bought products from abroad, Jonathan? Through Amazon, probably? The first one, right? Yes. Mm, okay, in my opinion, uh, I have never, and oh yes, I buy uh, things from Shin. Oh. Okay. Yes, and I consider it's a good, a good uh, page to, to buy things. I, because you receive a different discounts, and maybe you can look for a different size sites about clothes, but okay. in that that uh, page you 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 don't only get clothes. You can get different things. For example, the last thing that I bought is a a thing for my car. Okay. So I, you can buy you can buy a lot of things. Mm -hmm. It's the same like uh, 
uh, dollar city, I guess. Got it. Okay. A virtual dollar city. I didn't know that. Okay, perfect. All right. Okay, guys. Thank you, Jonathan. Just because of the time, we are going to stop right here, guys. Uh, Jose, can you please stay with me? Yes, miss. Okay, thank you. Then, guys, thank you very much for connecting today. I'll see you back tomorrow, and I hope you have a good night. Okay, take care. Good night. Yeah. Good night, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Good night, Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Okay, Jose. So let me ask you, Jose. How do you feel with uh, our classes on this module? How do you feel with the topics that we have covered? I feel comfortable and uh, talking about the topics. I I feel difficult. A lot of new words or processes that I don't know. Okay. Well, for me, it's, 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 a, it's difficult. Okay. Um, okay. Um, but do you think that the vocabulary and, I mean, the process is probably, since we are not in the marketing department, maybe, yes, it's, it is kind of difficult for us to fully understand all of the processes, right? But when it comes to the vocabulary, do you think that it is um, the vocabulary that you will use at some point? Um, yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's normal, a normal topic uh, out. So yeah. it's useful. And the way that you teach us the vocabulary. I like it so much because you make us understand the meaning of the words or the meaning of the topics. So uh, for me, that's new. Okay. And, and, and I like it because I, I, I don't translate the words. I, I understand the meaning. Excellent, okay. And actually, that is the purpose, right, of, of the classes, to, to make the learning process easier than, I mean, complicated, right? Because sometimes uh, those type of topics are kind of technical, right? And of course, there are many words that maybe we won't understand at the beginning. But if, um, in this case, uh, we give you like the 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 context right some synonyms and everything i think that you are going to get the words easily so i'm really happy that you understand uh, most of the content that we have been developing that is something good okay jose now um let me ask you a couple of questions right let me ask you a couple of questions uh and you just answer those questions as if we were in a conversation a uh, time okay okay all right, so can you please tell me what is the world's most successful international international brand in your opinion, Jose? Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. The most successful international brand. And why? One of those could be... Um, some years ago, not not right now because I I right now I I I am a little out. But like three times ago, three years ago, sorry, okay. um, Samsung, they mm -hmm. started like uh, doing uh different different things, but they go high with the cell phones. At the mm -hmm. beginning, they, they weren't too good, but they changed their mind. They changed the way that um, made publicity. So, advertising? Uh -huh. advertising. Sorry, I forgot that word. No worries. The way that they, they, they did advertising, and mm -hmm. now they, they are one of the most bigger um biggest the mm -hmm. most biggest uh, brands in the world right now yeah that is true mm -hmm. at least in in 
uh, talking about cell phones. Yes, of course. So, and what are the typical challenges which face a company when it, when it enters a foreign market? Mm. <laughs> let's um let's say i'm going to give you an example okay let's say that you have your own company here in el salvador but you want to enter a foreign market meaning usa or europe mm -hmm. what are going to be the challenges that you will face in the company that i am working right now uh they work that way so okay uh culture is one of the difficult that appears um because in our case we we make uh tools but okay. our tools you you watch a uh, a hole a hole here you can do for farming but the way the other countries do farming is different even though they use hopes but it's for culture not for the tool um the way that they are um in the case of the us you say they are how do you say they are forward for us so mm -hmm. we have the difficult to innovate to go to their market. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they are uh, advanced, right? Advanced. Absolutely, Jose. I think that, yes, right. Sadly, that is true. Mm -hmm. Okay, and how has the internet changed marketing? <laughs> internet? has changed the marketing a lot because it, it is easier to get a lot of people doesn't matter the countries or how far they are is cheaper than doing advertising on radio newspaper television so internet is the revolution that is correct yes that is correct. Um, and okay, do you think that marketing, I mean, we have different type of marketing, right? So in this case, do you know something about digital marketing? Um, no. Uh, okay. I think no. All right. So digital marketing is basically almost the same as saying um, the internet I mean, the, the marketing on the internet, right? Because digital, it means all of the things that we have uh, through social media, right? And also to email, uh, et cetera, right? Then in this case, uh, we are going to cover that in one of our classes. But uh, for now, I think that it will be all um, the things that I'm going to ask you, Jose. Do you have any issues with the platform or something? Um, right now, no, but uh, I, I have one, but I think that I wrote it bad. Okay. So, yes. so it, it is my fault. Okay. Uh, just remember that sometimes there are mistakes on the platform. Just let me know once you encounter one so I can give you the answer and I can report it. Okay. Okay, teacher. And um, then basically, Jose, I think that right now, um probably my feedback for you is going to be that i would like you to participate even more but as volunteering i mean whenever we ask for volunteers i need to go ahead and and, and actually uh, you know try to to volunteer yourself yeah then um other than that i think that you participate whenever we have the activities right on the breakout rooms you uh, try to, to participate. So I think that you are good enough, okay? So um, what else? Well, right now I think that that's pretty much. If you have any questions, okay, or any doubts, please let me know. And right now, is there anything else maybe that you would like to know? No, I'm okay right now, teacher. So okay. I am going to raise my hand. 
Yeah, so you can practice more, right? Okay. Okay, so Jose, we are going to stop right here and I'll see you back tomorrow. Okay, have a good night. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night.